Hello everybody, welcome back. And you get what you ask for and this is the reason why I shine my light today on the Canon EF 85mm 1.8 USM. USM stands for Ultra Sonic Motor. <laughs> uh, first of all, this lens comes with a price tag between the 400 and 500 uh, bucks. This makes it very affordable for portrait lens. Um, with the largest opening of 1.8, you could say this is the portrait version of the Nifty 50. When it comes to the depth of field, it's in the same range. Um, in build quality, the 85mm 1.8 is uh, plasticky, but has a metal mount and the overall feel uh, is a lot sturdier than the Plastic Fantastic. That said, doesn't mean you now have an excuse not to have a 50mm 1.8 in your bag. Um, what you have to keep in mind with prime lenses with large openings is that the autofocus will not react as fast as in your zoom lenses. If you have the possibility to test this lens against the 85mm 1.2, uh, what comes with a price tag of $2,000. You will see that the uh, AF is faster with the 1.8 lens. Anyway, it's rather nonsense to compare this to based on the speed of the autofocus. The lens construction uh, of the 85mm 1.8 consists nine elements in seven groups. And as it has an aperture, has aperture blades, eight aperture blades, uh, compared to the five in the Nifty 50, it will give you a more round bokeh. Uh, the minimum distance to the subject is, by the way, 85 meters. 85 meters, sorry, 85 centimeters. <laughs> Especially within the price range, there are no downsides really. Uh, in my opinion, it's a fast piece of glass uh, and with a 40, 125 grams, uh, it's a lightweight that, that doesn't lose its place in your camera back very easily. But, you guessed it all right, there will be a but and just for the record, it's a but with just one T. If you have, if you ask me if I would consider this one above the Samyang 85mm 1.4, for example, I have to say no. For the following reasons, or better said, for the following consideration, as the Samyang is faster due to its large opening, it will also be sharper at 1.8 than the Canon is at 1.8. The Canon, on the other hand, while the same price range, has an autofocus, what will be an important point for some of you. If you are in doubt, you really should think about what you are using this lens for. If you go for sports, mm, there are other lenses out there that are better for your needs and um, better than either of the two. Um, as you need a faster autofocus when doing sports and with the uh, manual focus you will be in nowhere anyway if you, uh, for example, uh, <laughs> take images of a football match. Uh, if you, on the other hand, go for portraiture, you really should think about how important the autofocus is for you in this case. Therefore, I advise to practice manual focusing before you decide where you where to put your money but in the end it shouldn't be all tech talk and comparing specs with each other in the end what matters is that you produce the imagery that you like and cherish and uh, whatever your decision is whatever decision you will make i thank you very much for watching have a great day shooting have a great day ahead Goodbye.